I remember way back when when we used to have a Polaroid camera, taking pictures, pulling that paper out of the camera, shaking that thing like crazy, and then getting a nice developed picture instantly on demand. Okay, I don't think I actually had one of those, but I always wanted one, and now I kind of have one. My first camera, Insta2. It's the second generation of the instant camera, which is like a Polaroid camera, although instead of having to shake the picture, which was kind of the best part about a Polaroid picture, because you get to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, that's the best part. But this one actually uses thermal paper, which doesn't use any ink. I guess the other one didn't use any ink either, but this one uses thermal paper. You don't have to shake it, it just prints it out right away after about 10 seconds. Which all in all is really cool, it just gets rid of the shaking aspect, which I guess we don't need. Although even though you don't have to shake the picture, you can still shake some other things and take some pictures. I'm just throwing that out there. One of the main ways this camera differs from those old school Polaroid cameras is it has a 12 megapixel camera that doesn't only shoot photos, but it can also shoot 1080p videos that'll save to the micro SD card. It even has dual lenses, which in turn means we have a selfie lens, which means you can easily take selfies of you and your bestie or just you by yourself. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Do whatever you want. You and your dog too, you and your cat, I don't care. Thermal paper is rather cheap so you can easily refill this, but it does come with over 140 sheets of paper for free in the box so you're ready to go right away. Because we're using thermal paper for the pictures that come out of here, we have unlimited printing without an ink cartridge refill. Which is nice, if you have a roll of that paper, you have some pictures. You don't have to worry about ink, which always suck by the way. We have multiple notes and greeting templates, which makes taking pictures on this thing even more fun because technology got involved so you can make the pictures a little less boring, although an instant picture isn't boring by any stretch of the imagination. And included inside is two rolls of thermal paper with 60 sheets per roll, and one roll of thermal sticker paper with 30 sheets per roll. Which is really awesome because you can have stickers and stick them to stuff. What? As far as specs are concerned, we have a 2.4 inch IPS color display. We have photo resolutions of 12, 8, and 5 megapixels. 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second for video. A 1500 milliamp hour battery that takes about two and a half hours to charge and lasts you about four hours of playtime. Playtime, photo time, camera time, whatever you want to call it. It supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes in size and even comes with a neck lanyard so you can put it around your neck or your shoulder if you want to look like a real photographer. Now let's get in the box and see what we're working with here. One of the other cool things is not only does it save the videos to the micro SD card, but it also saves the images to your micro SD card so you can upload them to Instagram if you want to, even though you have a hard copy in hand. Because remember, it's printing them out in black and white, so if you want a full color image, you can always print them out later somewhere else. But if you want an instant gratification picture, you have that as well. Inside the box of a branded lanyard, looking really nice. Look at that, you can even adjust it to your size so it'll fit everybody. We have the two rolls of thermal paper ready to go, the roll of thermal sticker paper ready to go, a flat micro USB charging cable, a USB-A micro SD card reader, as well as a USB-A to micro SD adapter, and a USB-A to USB type C adapter so you can easily connect the micro SD card reader to your mobile phone as well as a little user manual, and a bunch of stickers so you can actually make the camera yours. And now let's take a look at the actual, well this camera actually has some weight to it, it actually feels very solid. Oh, nice. It's got a nice soft touch feel to it, I'm liking that. I really like that they sent me the pink one, they knew it was my favorite color obviously. It also comes in blue if you're more about that. Over on the front we have the main camera lens along with the printing slot where the paper's just going to come out and you can easily tear it along those grooves. We have my first branding. We got two little ear hook looking things to attach the lanyard to. Over on the left side we have a speaker so I guess you can play back videos and hear audio as well, that's awesome. Over on the right side we have a little flap that conceals the micro SD and micro USB charging port. And would you look at that? It even included a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. That's really awesome, I didn't expect that. Over here on the back we have the 2.4 inch color IPS display, along with the selfie cam so you could easily, you know, take a selfie. What? That's awesome, the future, right? Over on the left side we have the power button as well as the button to switch between cameras. We have a back and settings button, a D-pad, a selection button, camera button, and print button, as well as a shutter button on the right side. So let's get this thing powered on, we're gonna hold down this button. Uh-huh. It looks like it's dead, so we're gonna have to charge this thing up for a little bit. Alright, we have this thing plugged in and charging, but let's turn this thing on and take a look at stuff while it's getting juiced up. Nice splash screen, had some sound too, speaker sounded alright. And let's see. You know what? This, the camera itself actually looks like it's gonna be pretty decent, and the screen actually looks pretty good too. Not bad. Good refresh rate, very smooth, I'm liking that. Watch here. Got some paper here. Like, look at this. Look how smooth that is. Look how clear it is. It's looking good, right? Let's go take a look at the settings menu. Okay, we got settings here, and it looks like this isn't actually a D-pad. This one goes, oh, it's a plus and minus button. 
Wow, can't believe I didn't figure that one out. But yeah, we have a plus and minus button. The plus button will go up, the minus button will go down. Wow, can't believe it took me that long to figure out. Oh well, we know now. We have image quality. We're gonna use the shutter on the right side as the enter button. So we can go up, change it to 12 megapixels, of course. We have language of English, date and time. Let's get that set. The buttons are a little confusing to get the hang of. Once you get it, it's all right. We can choose the toggle the beep sound. We can have it low, high, or off. I'll just leave it on low. We can format the SD card. Might as well. There we go. Print density. Um, probably in the middle for now. Let's see how that looks. And then that's it. Remember, you could take pictures all you want with this and just use it as a digital camera, but if you want to actually print them on the go, we need to install some thermal paper, which should be pretty simple. Let's see if I can actually figure it out. We're going to be popping open the front here. This is a little printer. Looking nice. Very simple. All right. And now we're going to put it in here. I want to say it's as easy as just putting it in here like this, pulling this out, locking it into place, and then we can just tear this part off. <laughs> there we go. If it was really that easy, that is easy and a kid can figure it out because you literally just put it in there. You don't have to feed it or anything. Let's find out. Now once on the viewfinder, we can toggle cameras. And look at that. Now I can see myself. Not bad. That's pretty awesome. It does a little bit overexposed with all the studio lighting on me, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, especially for what it is. We can easily toggle back to the main camera. And then we also have different modes. The first one right here is going to be taking three pictures back to back to back. The next mode is a three second timer so you can set it up and get ready and get posed and get the picture taken automatically. And then we have a third one which is gonna take three pictures back to back to back with three second intervals in between each one. Right there, that seems like the one I'm gonna be using the most. And then we also have filters. Let me get that paper back here. We have the red filter, so everything looks red. We got a blue filter. We got a black and white filter, a sepia filter, and then we have a grid, which I guess is just a grid, so that's pretty cool. And then coming up next, we got a to-do list. So you can actually print this out and write down stuff to do. We got a little schedule. We got a postcard. We got this belongs to, so I guess the picture belongs to somebody. Once again, belongs to. This is my. We got some frames here. That's awesome. Got a little photographer. Got a little giraffe. We got some, looks kind of like a birthday animal balloon type frame. That's pretty cool. Birthday balloons. Santa Claus. More birthday balloons along with some rainbows. Unicorn birthday. Cakey birthday. Bees and flowers. Oh, look at this. It's an actual filter so you can line this up with somebody's face and make them look like a bunny rabbit. Got some horns. Got some eyes looking like, mm. got some lips, got some glasses, and that's it. So we got a bunch of filters and frames here, so you can definitely have some fun with this instead of just taking boring pictures over and over and over. So it's very easy to take pictures and videos. You're going to just tap this button to take a picture. You're going to hold it down to take a video and then press it again to stop the video. So first things first, I'm going to switch to the selfie camera. I'm going to take a picture. Hold up. Let me get it. The cable's in the way. Hey. There we go. It took about a second or two to take the picture. A little bit of a delay, but not too bad. I'm going to switch to the main camera and take a quick picture. See if the quality is any different. I got to do a different pose just in case. I don't want to mix them up, you know. And then we got two 12 megapixel pictures. And we could also do a video. So all we do is hold down this button. And instantly it's recording. I only had to hold it down for about two seconds. Let's see, I don't think there's any way to focus. I can't tell if it's in focus. Let's get this box here. All right. I mean, it looks pretty good for what it is. Let me get close. When you get too close, it does get blurry. I think the focus is fixed. So there is that. Let's see, now I can um, turn it back on myself. Hey, we're doing a main camera video test of the My First Insta 2 camera. How do you guys think I look? Do I look good? Does it look clear? Can you hear me? How's the sound? I'm not even sure where the microphone is. Actually, I did see a little hole. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. That's an LED, so maybe I didn't see. Oh, right here on the right side, I found the microphone. But yeah, this is what it is. What do you guys think? And then we can press stop to stop recording. Boom, just like that. And then I'm going to take a selfie video. So we're going to switch cameras and now do another video. All right, now we're using the selfie camera to record this video. And I can tell just by looking at the display here, I do look very overexposed, which I guess isn't that bad for the camera that it is. I mean, this is for kids after all. And I just want to know how I sound, how do I look, as it close? Get some teeth action, yeah, all right. 
pretty good, looking good. Let me see if I can take a selfie with my cool box. Hey, you know what? It actually adjusted the lighting for it. Huh. It does a pretty good job. I mean, come on. This was like really overexposed because it's a white box and it's looking good. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm kind of curious what I think. We'll see. So that's actually really nice. And then if you want to take a look at the pictures you've taken to print something or even look at the videos, we're going to just press this button to go to the gallery. And here we go. We can play the video. All right. Now we're using the selfie camera to record this video. And I can tell just by looking at the display here, I do look very overexposed. You know what? The sound is actually not bad. It's pretty quiet, but it's actually very clear, not breaking up whatsoever. So I'm thinking the video might actually be decent. I mean, it is 1080p, so I'm expecting it to be at least acceptable, right? We can go between. So here we go. We have the two photos I took. Look at me right there, posing. That's a video. And right here, I'm po oh, I like this one. This one looks good. It's got my profile. You know what? Let me put this around my neck. Yeah, I got it almost fully extended. So as you can see, it's good. Take a picture, choo -choo. there we go, just like that. All right, let me take it off to print this out. So let's go to the gallery. Where's my nice profile picture I had? This one right here, I love this picture. So now let's print it out and see how this goes. We're gonna press the print button. Battery low prohibiting printing. Okay, I knew it wasn't charged enough. I didn't know it would use so much power to print out a picture. That's cool, it must be doing some real work in the background. So we got to plug back in and now we're gonna print it out. Let's make sure this is out of the way. We're gonna press the print button. Prompt charging, prohibit printing. You can't print while it's charging. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna actually have to let it charge and then we'll be back to print out some pictures and see how they look. All right, y'all, we are back. Let's get this thing powered on, see if we have enough juice to print out an image. Our first image from our first Insta camera. Pretty exciting. Yep, the battery is almost full. Well, at least about 70% or so. That should definitely be enough. Let's go to the gallery. Let's find my cool picture. Ah, there it is. This one right here. Look at it. We're going to print this bad boy out right now. So, just got to press this print button. Three, two, one. I think we got a jam. Uh-oh. Printing now. Although... Okay, let me... Let me try that again, because the paper was jammed. Let's see if it was me or it. Three, two, one. Oh, this time it's going. Look at this. Woo! Oh, look at that. Okay, hold on. Let's get them side by side. Not bad. Look at this. That's actually not bad for a black and white thermal picture that printed out in less than 10 seconds. It smells like paper. <laughs> Look at that, we even got the date and timestamp down there. That's awesome. Although it looks like it says 0000 2020. Oh wait, no. No, I guess it has a date. It's just really blurry and hard to tell. Like if you look closely, I'm sure it says 69 2020. But it is what it is. Not a bad picture though. I can definitely see my likeness. Look at that. Now obviously you're going to want to try to get stuff a little more bright or not. I don't know because like my beard's blending in with the background because you know it's all black and white and everything because it's only black ink, thermal ink, whatever they want to call it. But not a bad shot. I'm pretty impressed. That was cool. Not sure why I got jammed the first time. It must have been because I put the paper in weird. But we were able to fix that, get it settled out, and that's actually not bad. I'm digging that. Instant gratification. And then you can go print this out high quality at Walgreens if you want to in color. Put this next to it be like, yeah, remember that day we were printing out instant pictures? And look, here's like the actual picture. Oh my god. That's pretty cool, right? I don't know. The pictures are actually not bad. I'm pretty impressed for what it is. I mean, obviously, if you have like a really expensive smartphone, the camera's gonna be way better, but then again, you can't print the pic. You know what? You could probably plug the memory card into your phone, transfer the pictures to the card, and print them out here if you really wanted to. So this is like a mobile printer too. That's actually super awesome and super cool. I didn't even think of that. But the pictures are not bad, especially for a kid. You can take videos, do everything. It seems like it's gonna be durable. This thing can probably drop a few times, and I mean, it feels pretty strong. I don't think it'll be breaking that easily. But they could take pictures, videos, print them out, and have loads of fun, especially with all those filters and everything. This is definitely something fun to have. I mean, I'm having fun with it, and it's pink, and it's for kids, but I'm using it. If I can use it, they can use it. Why not? 
If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you, it's good enough for all of us. It's pretty awesome. Definitely recommend if you want an instant camera printing out process picture printer thing. What did I just say? It doesn't even make sense. Definitely recommend it if you want a camera that can print out pictures on the go and also do videos and save them to the card and you can print them out later if you want to in higher quality and in color. I mean, seriously, when I was a kid, I would have been happy to have one of these as my first camera, but they didn't exist. We had those ones with the film. You had to turn the thingy and then take it to get developed for like a week. But now you got this, can print out right. I mean, they had Polaroids, but I didn't have one. But now I do.